Hello, Aries. So great to be back with you. This is Tara from Tara One Love Coach. We are going to be doing another timeless reading. Yes. And we are going to see what the messages are for you. To I mean, not I was about to say Taurus, Aries, Aries, because I just got through finished doing Taurus. So Aries, so great to be back with you. Sending blessings to you all internationally here in the USA and all over the world. I am excited to know what the messages are. If any of you want to carry me in your pocket to stay tuned when these videos come straight out the oven, I'm also on podcast. Giving a shout out to those who are listening to me on podcast, okay? Um, I am on Spreaker, iHeart. iHeart, you can download the iHeart app, put in the search, Tarot One Show, and I will come up. Save me to your favorites, like it, like me. Um, follow me on Spreaker. I am. You can download that app. I'm on Spreaker. Also, Anchor FM, Spotify. You can download that app. I'm there too. Um, yeah. Your choice. Pick it. Just to stay tuned. And also, I am on YouTube at Tara One with my podcast as well. So, check it out, guys. Keep me in your pocket. Okay, um, just want to welcome my new subscribers. Hello, welcome to the family. And just to say thanks for my loyal subscribers for hanging in there with me. Today we will be doing a reading for Aries. Now I told you guys about this peak time. This peak time is really, really hot, honey. So I'm doing readings and I'm seeing soulmates come up in these readings. Okay. So there's going to be some love connections coming up between April and August. Remember to leave your testimonials, okay? Because I want to hear about them. Leave it in the comments section. Okay, okay. All right. I am li li working on some other videos too. The pick of cards. Um, those have to be mapped out a little more strategically. So I'm working on those in the background. Okay. Okay, everyone, you know always if you want a reading, I am giving a special 10 minutes free. It's not going to last too long, okay? Add it to your call. 10 minutes add it to your call, okay? Um, so check that out. The link is in its description. The app is called Magnify. I am still on Instant Go. Download that app. Check me out there. Um, also, somebody asked me about the Cash App. Check it out. Um, if I didn't put the link in the description, I will be putting the link in the description soon because I understand not everybody has PayPal. So that's another way. That's another app you can use. Okay. Um, so check it out. There's some good things are going to be happening for you, Aries. Let's see the energies that are around you. Door to personal healing and happiness is coming forth. A temple path, okay. Some of you are going on a spiritual journey. Uh-huh. And we have the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. Metatron. Now with the sixth chakra, we have the third eye, which is intuition and understanding. So this is this spirit guide is going to be enhancing your intuition okay so that's a plus so now let's get door to personal healing and happiness so there's a window opening this is something an energy that's coming in for you aries personal healing and happiness so get ready for that you see the angel the the rainbow here in this card look at that that's a symbol of happiness look at that so abundance i also see abundance from that card 
This is also, you see the spiritual orb, orbs around this card as well, your spirit guides. So it seems it's like that some of you are going on this spiritual path, the temple path, seeking spiritual wisdom and understanding. We all need to connect with our spirituality, spiritual guidance, spiritual wisdom. I feel some of you are looking more deeper in on this path just for you to get some type of clarity, comfort, or guidance in your personal situation. And we have the Six Chakra Archangel Metatron. Yes. Okay. So let's see what's in store for love. This is a love reading. However, the past readings, what did I just finish doing towards Gemini? Ah, a little less love, lovey-dovey, and more either spiritual healing or abundance or a new path. You know, yeah, new things are on the horizon. So let's see what we have for you, Aries, okay? So great that you're spending time here with me. I appreciate you guys tuning in. So great. Okay, we start with the devil now. We know why we need this temple. We do, okay? We need it, okay? Get the holy oil. No, the, the, yeah, the holy water. Sprinkle some on you. <laughs> yes, hopefully you don't sizzle when it lands on you, okay? Um, so we have the devil here. So this talks about some, some type of dark energy that's coming about here. All right, maybe this is why we need this temple energy here. That's interesting. Let's go further. Let's see what's behind you. There was an offer that was made. Okay, you got the four of cups, but something you didn't want. You didn't want the, the devil's cup. You didn't want this energy's cup. It, it offered something to you. You didn't want it. Hmm, you probably know what's up with that, huh? Aries. You got strength. You got strength. Yep. Leo energy coming up, Aries, by the way. But this is your fire sign. This is a fire energy coming up. Okay. What is this devil is a Capricorn energy coming up. Okay. There may be a Capricorn at play. Even though you have this offer, you're 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 weighing some things out. There's something that you need clarity on, and you feel that there's something you're not seeing. But I kind of feel you're feeling it. I kind of feel you're feeling it. Okay, you're feeling this energy. But whatever's going on here, you're feeling it. Okay. So this is what I see here. Let's see. Okay, we got above you. Let's see with movement. Okay. Okay, so here we have this undecisiveness, but you got this energy that's the main situation. So this could be someone that's in your life that has some type of bad habits, addictions or whatever, some bad habits, something you may not trust. Okay, they offered you something, but you didn't take it. But however, you are kind of on the fence about some things. I feel like you're seeking your spirituality just to get more clarity on this situation. Maybe this is why we have the sixth chakra here that's coming about because that's your intuition, okay? That is your clairvoyance, your understanding. So you are seeking uh, a spiritual uh, way about this. We have the Ten of Cups, which says that it's going to be a unity and happy and coming together. I'm seeing this uh, fast acting movement coming here. So this tells me whether this is from someone that's traveling or from a distance, but something that's going to happen fast, okay? Maybe it's a relationship that's going to come together. I see it coming together. I see this where there's unity, there is strength. So I feel like there's someone that you do, do care about and do want to be with may have gotten your heart broken, possibly from this energy that's resurfacing. Is it someone that keeps coming around? 
I feel like you're moving forward towards the future here with this two of wands. You're looking very hopeful towards this future. There's a little bit of confusion here. You do have some things that you want to achieve. Also, I, I kind of feel like this is your desires, but it's also the smoke screen as well, I kind of feel. Um, but I feel like you have your desires, your dreams to come true. This is what you desire. This is what you want. We got the high priestess still keeping secrets. There's a woman that's coming out here. Who is she? The queen of rods. This is, this is, this is you. You're an Aries. This is a fire energy that's coming out. So you're coming out really strong. You're holding your sunflower, the symbol of longevity, abundance, okay? So you're coming out with that fiery energy, okay? So whatever is going to happen, you're going to still stand on your two feet with the energy of strength that's coming forth here. So it looks good for you from what I'm seeing, but I am going to pull the Doreen Virtue Romance Angels card. Free yourself. Maybe it's to free yourself from a past energy. Oh, this is that way. Stay optimistic about your love life. I don't know what that means. If it's a bad relationship, don't give it a chance. If it's a good relationship, give it a chance. Chemistry. Someone you have chemistry with. Uh, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay? Mm. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay? Someone stepping back and new love. Okay? Stop it there. New love. Retreat. So I kind of get this feel that it's someone that has not meant you, meant you any good. You're getting, you're, you're taking an opportunity to take a step back from this situation. However, I'm kind of feeling there is a heart's desire at play with someone you have chemistry with, which could be a new love to you, okay? Maybe this is someone you overlooked and spirit is saying, give it a chance, all right? So... It says stay optimistic, but it also says free yourself. Okay, you already didn't take up on an offer here. And maybe this is why this energy, door to personal healing and happiness, you need that personal healing and happiness. Also, you need that spiritual guidance so that you can see your way clear. You already have the high priestess coming out. You got Archangel Metatron here. So it's really putting your intuition on some really, really, um, what do you call it? High blast, high blast intuition, strong energy coming forth here. Okay. I'm seeing here chemistry, new love. Door to personal healing for you to prepare for your new love. Okay? This is what I'm seeing here. So there's a in in inward work that's working for you. That's being worked on, okay? Inside. You may be trying to decide because there's this influence around you, but I feel like things are going to get better by your intuition really, really kind of honing in and giving you guidance and telling you what direction you should go in. Okay, so listen to your intuition. Continue to be spiritual so you can get the messages from God, the universe, to guide you on your path. You've got your spiritual, in, your spiritual um, guide around you. Look at that. You got spirit guides around you. See that? Six chakra. That's your intuition, and you've got the high priestess coming out. You could already be a spiritual person. The reason why I'm getting such a strong energy from this reading when it comes to 
your spirituality and your intuition. This might have come into your life, Aries, to test you. To test you. Okay? They know what your destiny is. They know where you're going. But sometimes this energy comes in to throw a monkey wrench in the in your destiny to try to trip you up or try to challenge you okay no weapon formed against you will not prosper okay so yeah you got your guides around you on this one okay but new love on the horizon it could be an old lover trying to block your flow a karmic energy this is also a karmic energy as well okay that's a karmic energy coming forth <sighs> what a reading huh. if that relate to you let me hear your comments. Give me your testimonies. And until next time, God bless you.